for another reading vlog, so stay tuned. So I am in beautiful, sunny California, here with my lovely, lovely friend, Kehlani. We've had an amazing time visiting and going to Yaw West, which will be in the last vlog, so you can go and check that out. We are currently on our way to go get some in and out because I love in and out and we don't have that at home and uh, it's my last chance to have it. So we're gonna have that for lunch and then we are going to a bookstore. Kehlani has a ton of books back here, including in my suitcase, that we are taking to unhaul uh, so she can get some credit. And then I think we're gonna go back to the house and some filming done. film some fun videos together. Uh, don't know exactly when those videos will be posting, but we're gonna play some fun bookish games and stuff, and we will talk to you later. Bye. Good morning. It's stupid o'clock. It's not good. Mm -mm. It's just morning. It's not It's not even morning. It's still dark outside. It's stupid. We want to both be sleeping. <laughs> but I have to go to the airport. Why are you whispering? There's nobody here. <laughs> I'm too tired to talk like that. <laughs> I'm so tired. I know. My brain is not functioning yet. And I have to go finish packing. Kehlani has to finish snoozing mm -hmm. while I finish packing. Mm -hmm. She's taking me to the airport in her PJs because uh, she's coming back and going to bed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep till like noon. Fight me. <laughs> Bailey says it's too early too, isn't it Bailey? She hasn't moved at all this morning. She's just, this is the spot she woke up in. So it's been a minute since I checked in. I think the last clip I actually filmed was on uh, the third when I was flying back from Kehlani's house. I had such an amazing time visiting with Kehlani and her cute little dog Bailey. I got to see her husband a little bit but he was working a lot while we were there but we had such a good time with Y'all West and all of that stuff and apparently Bailey's been looking for me since I left. It's just so cute. Oh, uh, but yeah, we made we made buddies. <laughs> but I have so much to show you because, as you can see, I have a lot of packages here. Uh, my hungry route came today, so I thought I'd show you that. I have a ton of books that have that have been pre-ordered that came either while I was gone or since I've been back. Uh, I've got another package to show you. I've got sips by to show you. Books to talk about. Yeah, and. Later, not in this clip, I have all the books that I bought while I was in California, either bought on the trip or, uh, you know, or free arcs or books that Kehlani gave me. So I have a lot of books to show you in this vlog, uh, which I'll show you those later. Okay, so reading. I am currently reading two books. I've barely gotten into one of them. Uh, the first one is The Oceanography of the Moon by Glindy Vandera, and this is one of my Once Upon a Book Club boxes, and this is actually 
the book that was in the box that we did the giveaway for and so I'm currently doing a buddy read and I'm behind on the buddy read but I'm currently doing a buddy read of this uh, I'm only on page seven so I'm just getting started uh, there was actually a little paper in here that says booksy daisy there was a mix-up with their publisher uh, with confirming the page number of the gift so it tells you here uh, on page uh, page 58 gift should be open on page 55 though there's I think the gifts are okay like named the right number on the box in the box but maybe not post it's in the right place I don't know but as I get to the gifts I will open them and show you so I have that uh, let's see the first gift comes on page 55 so it shouldn't be too terribly long before I can open that and I'm also buddy reading Queen of Air and Darkness. This is a reread for me. It's also the third book in the Dark Artifices series. And I'm also behind on this one. Not too terribly bad, but a little bit. I'm on page 260. Uh, I can't remember exactly where I need to be. I'd have to look, but yeah, my plan is to finish. I probably won't finish these this weekend, obviously. Uh, but <laughs> but I do want to read quite a bit this weekend and uh, finish them probably next week. Okay, let's go on to my Sips by box. So if you don't already know, Sips by is a monthly tea subscription box. It's $15 a month and I will leave a link down in the description if you're interested. But it's a super customizable box. When you go on their website, you fill out like a little flavor quiz and stuff and you write you put in all the things that you like, whether you want loose leaf tea or in individual bag tea, or if you want like high caffeine or no caffeine or medium caffeine or mixed of everything. And I just get a mix of everything because when I first signed up, I really had no idea what kind of tea I like. And as you get your teas, you go on after you've tried them and rate the teas and it helps them to customize the teas even more for you. So no two people have the exact same box, which I think is pretty neat. So here are the May teas and it says May for Melanie. And it says, just as April showers bring May flowers, something beautiful and new is in store for you in this box, Melanie. We hope you find your new favorite sips in this bouquet of teas we picked for you. All right, so let's see what we have. Okay, the first thing we have is this Organic India Tulsi Focused Hibiscus Cinnamon Tea. And it looks like this. I don't know if it's actually focusing or not. Uh, but this says uh, it's caffeine free. This unique formulation of aptogenic herbs and nootropic botanicals is infused with warm notes of cardamom and clove for delicious caffeine free daily cognitive support. Okay. Okay, next up is this Ahmed Tea London. Uh, it's black tea and it's strawberry sensation. Again, I have no idea if this is focusing. Uh, this is high caffeine. Ahmed Tea is a British family business with long tradition. They supply tea for the royal collection, including Buckingham Palace. This tea is delicious, hot, or iced. And uh, my mom is actually standing on the other side of this camera. I think she wants to say hi. She's visiting me because today is my birthday. Happy birthday. And tomorrow is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> and Marty's parents are actually here as well. And today is not just my birthday, but it's also uh, Marty's dad's birthday. So happy birthday to him as well. Okay, the next tea is this cookie tea, uh, or it's by Cookie Tea, and it's salted caramel cookie. They always have a cute little kitty on there. I love it. Uh, this one is low caffeine. It says a hint of salt complements the layered flavors of caramel and cocoa butter for a unique treat. It's the perfect balance of sweet and savory for days when you're feeling a little salty. And this one's a loose leaf tea. Um, when you get loose leaf teas, you get the little bags here that have like disposable tea bags inside, which I think is just brilliant. And the card also tells you like how to repair all of these, all of these teas. Okay, the last tea in the box is Sencha Tea Bar Coconut Palm Black Blend. And it looks like this. And this is high caffeine. It says, Coconut Palm is a black tea blend that combines apple, toasted coconut, vanilla, and chocolate with sweet rubios for a deliciously decadent cup that satisfies with every sip. Uh, that sounds delicious. 
Okay, so that is everything in the six by box. Okay, uh, before going on to the Hungry Root, because it is a big box, I'm gonna move on to the smaller boxes. So this package here, uh, a company reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to show this off to you guys. So I will put a link down in the description if you're interested. Uh, we're going to test this out. I'll probably try it out tomorrow. Uh, it's meant to be an indoor thing, but we're gonna try it out outdoors. Maybe even this evening, I don't know. Okay, so it is this non-tail indoor insect trap. It looks like this. Um, hopefully it'll work outside. I mean, they said it should. Um, I don't really have a problem with like flies or mosquitoes or anything like that in my house. So I'm just going to test this out outdoors. Um, Cause we get a lot of like these little gnats flying around our backyard. Um, so I thought I'd take it out there and try it out. So it comes with these little glue pads that you put inside it. Looks like we have a little, either a charging cable or a power cable, I don't know. And then it looks like this. So on top we have like a power button, uh, I guess slow fan, faster fan. And I guess this is day and night. I'm not really sure what that's for. There is a, like a UV light in here or a blue light or some, some kind of light. I think it says UV light. And then you put your little uh, glue pads, you put them down in here. And I think you just, it doesn't look like I have to plug, have it plugged in to use it. Maybe I do. Anyway, fan comes on, light attracts them. They get sucked in here and get stuck on the little glue thing. So yeah, we'll take that outside either later this evening or tomorrow and try it out and see how it works. I ended up setting this up on my kitchen counter because we did end up getting a few fruit flies in here. I don't know how well you can tell, but it has like this blue light here and there's settings on top with the power and the fan and like whether you have the light on or off. And then, hold on. So it plugs in with a USB-C. And right here is how you open up the bottom. Hold on, I'm going to turn this so I can set the camera down. So you press that. And it just pops open. And you can see we have caught all the fruit flies. Pretty nifty. Okay, now on to, oh my goodness, I'm excited, all these books. <laughs> so some of them are books that I pre-ordered, a lot of them are. Uh, and some of them are books that I just ordered because I pre-ordered other books in the series. I have something on my face. Okay, so this one I think was a used copy, I believe, uh, that I got from a Goodwill, which I ordered off of Amazon, but it is... For Your Own Good by Samantha Downing. I think I've, I've heard nothing but good things about this author, so I really wanted to give this a try. I Because there's so many here, I'm not going to read the synopsis of each, uh, but maybe a little, tiny little piece. Uh, a bold, sneaky thriller set at a prestigious private school complete with interfering parents, over-eager students, and one teacher who just wants to teach them all a lesson. Okay, so I got this one. Then this is a pre-order. This is one that came from Barnes & Noble. Okay, so I am very, very excited for this one because... Uh, ah. Okay, sorry if the angle changed, but Einstein just spun my tripod around. Okay, so this next book is one that I am super excited about because I've read another book by this author and it's, I think, like tied in first place as my favorite thriller uh it's tied with the silent patient like it's that level of oh my goodness so i when i saw that she had another book coming out i wanted to get it and this is an honest lie by taryn fisher the other book that i absolutely just am obsessed with is the wives because that book man brain uh, I'm very excited for this. Uh, let's see, what does it say? We'll just do a little 
clip. Uh, this gut punch of a thriller can only have sprung from the fiendish brain of Taryn Fisher, one of the most cunning writers of our time. And a little quote here says, I'm going to kill her. You'd better come if you want to save her. Hmm. Okay, I think this is another uh, used book that I ordered. Ah, yes. This is actually our group book for our next round of Seasonathon. Yay! If you have not watched that announcement, we premiered it this morning. Uh, we are reading The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. Uh, such a stunning book. And I've heard nothing but good things about this as well. It has such a high rating. And there's still plenty of time for you to pick your team for Camp Seasonathon and uh, you know, figure out your TBR and all that for it and join us. We will be having a live show with Rachel on June 18th on my channel at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, and the uh, only thing I know about this is there are like witches uh, that are like autumn witches or spring witches or whatever and at the beginning their power is like really strong and then it kind of fades off throughout the season. Uh, but Clara, our main character, is an ever witch and so her her power goes like the whole year and it says from a stunning new voice comes a story about a powerful witch who must decide if using her volatile magic to help the world is worth the price of losing the person she loves the most next we've got another pre-order yeah barnes and noble had this um 25 off sale of pre-orders and i pre-ordered a lot <laughs> So this one is A Book Lovers by Emily Henry and I'm, I love me a bookish book and this was actually one that I also pre-ordered for Kehlani as well and so maybe we'll buddy read this at some point uh, but I wanted to get her a little gift for hosting me there so uh, let's see this just says I'm not gonna read the whole thing one summer two rivals a plot twist they didn't see coming Okay, then I've got a couple of boxes uh, from Barnes & Noble, which are also pre-orders. Okay, I had to get a knife to open it. Okay, there are two books in this box. The first one is By the Book by Jasmine Glory. And it says, sometimes to truly know a person, you have to read between the lines. I love me a bookish book. It also says, this fairy tale rom-com mashup is total magic swoon worthy from start to finish and yes that just it sounds like my jam and then we have seasonal fears by shauna mcguire which i believe this i think this is a sequel to middle game or it's a companion novel to middle game and loved 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 middle game so i'm really excited to read this one then i have another barnes and noble box and this one also had two books in it. The first one is Bravely by Maggie Stiefvater. This is essentially the sequel to the Disney movie Brave. And I love, I love Disney. I love Disney movies. I am a child. <laughs> and uh, yes, I'm, I'm really excited for this. It says, what if you had one year to save everything you love? And then the other one is The Agathas by Kathleen Glasgow and Liz Lawson. And I love this cover. This says, Welcome to Castle Cove, a town cursed with missing girls, bad boyfriends, family secrets, and some very steep cliffs. Hmm. Then we have another pre-order from, uh, actually this one's not Barnes & Noble. This is Book Depository. So I'm not sure if this was a pre-order or something else. Oh, I think this was a pre-order or maybe it just recently came out and that is Electra by Jennifer Saint. And is this just not stunning? Oh, Ooh, look at those end pages. Such a beautiful, beautiful book. And this is a, a vivid reimagining re of Greek mythology's most haunted lineage. And I'm, I'm excited for this and it's so pretty. And then I have one more, and this is also from Book Depository. I'm trying, Einstein is trying to sniff the books. I got It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. It says, sometimes the one who loves you is the one who hurts you the most. Okay, so here are all the books. I don't even know if you can see them all. Here's all the books that I got. Yay. 
Also, I'll show you our beautiful cake that we got for me and Curtis, or it's for all of us, but this is mine and Curtis's birthday cake. And I got us these cute little candles. I, like, I think it is adorable. Sorry we are here in Xander and his video game in the background. Uh, I have my Hungry Root box now. So this is very, very, very well packed. If you haven't seen before, uh, the bags, the gel bags that they put in here, uh, they're called Enviro Ice. It has drainable gel, which means you can put it down your drain without hurting your drain. and Or you can use it for your plants and it's nitrogen based plant food, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, so I have my little recipe card here. It got a little crumpled up. Uh, on the back, they have like the checklist of everything they put in the box. Here, let me move this box. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Usually the produce comes in this. I'm guessing we have a lot of produce. So I have four packs of Hungry Root Asparagus. And then I have four packs of the Hungry Root Sweet Baby Broccoli. And then I've got some more classic fruit salad. I got this last time. It was really, really good. And we've got blueberries and grapes and cantaloupe and pineapple. Yeah. Yummy. Then I have some blueberries and we've got a couple of red peppers, a oh, little bitty red pepper, bell peppers. red bell pepper, and then one gala apple. So that's all of the produce. Still got a lot of stuff in here. So I got some more of these rind apple chips. I love them. They're so good. I've gotten them multiple times now. They're skin on superfruits, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, zero added sugars, zero fat. So yummy. I also got these, the new Primal Snack Mate Kids turkey sticks made with free-range turkey, raised without antibiotics and without hormones. And uh, these are like eight grams of protein. They're gluten-free, paleo, and they are so yummy. They're so yummy. <laughs> then I got two bags of this Hungry Root gluten-free ancient grain pancake mix because we like pancakes. So they had to make a change. I guess they ran out of something and it was the uh, brown rice quinoa mix. And so they sent instead this uh, vegetable rice. It's called right rice made from vegetables. And it's non-GMO, gluten-free, 10 grams of protein, five grams of fiber. And so I got four bags of that. So I got two containers of Cuban spiced black beans, like Hungry Root brand. I have two packages of Roly Toly chicken. Uh, this is chili limon sous vide chicken it's already like fully cooked and everything it's chicken raised without antibiotics so I got two packages of that I have two things of hungry root green chili I have some almond chickpea cookie dough uh, every time you get one of these you can get uh, you get a free gift so you can choose between like the vegetable of the week the protein of the week or cookie dough and I've always gotten cookie dough though I think my next one I'm getting the protein of the week just to try it out. Plus, we're getting a lot of cookie dough. We don't eat cookies that often. <laughs> then we have some uh, Maria and Ricardo's Mucho Goodness white corn tortillas. And these are gluten-free and non-GMO and whole grain. Then we have four packs of these seasoned grilled chicken breasts. You get two chicken breasts for each pack. So I have Four packs of those, so eight all together. I have four microwave ready sweet potatoes. Oh, this is all wet because it was up against the uh, gel pack, so it all the condensation. But this is who or Hugh? It says get back to human hazelnut butter, dark chocolate, organic, 70% cacao, vegan paleo. No refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no erythritol, no dairy slash soy, no palm oil, no lechins, no emulsifiers, and it's organic and fair trade. But it's all yet. Hopefully there's like some kind of coating between this paper. I'm going to just go ahead and open it and see. 
Oh yeah, okay, cool. It's in a little thing here, so it's okay. <laughs> Then I have an almond butter brownie. This is by Base Culture, and it's gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, and preservative-free, and it's pure paleo ingredients. It's also peanut-free. Oh, this is to be kept refrigerated. Interesting. And then I've got uh, two of these sous vide roasted sliced turkey breasts, and these are made with made with turkey raised without antibiotics, and they're fully cooked. And yeah, so that's what I have there. That is quite a lot of food in uh, this pile here. Uh, so I have enough, I had to order like multiple of some meals. So I don't have as many meals as I normally would have because I wanted to get enough to feed a larger group of people. Uh, because I, I get them in like the four serving size, which is plenty for me, Marty and Xander, and to still have leftovers. But now we have me, Marty, Xander, uh, Marty's two parents, plus my mom. So there's six of us. So I get the, I, I got double on some of these. So one of the recipes that I got double of is roast turkey with sweet potato and asparagus. And the other that I got double of is the spicy chicken and baby broccoli bowl. And then the one that I just got like singles of is the chili, chili chicken and black bean tacos. Okay, so that is everything in this box. I think that's everything for this check-in. The next time you see us, we'll probably be devouring some birthday cake. <laughs> I will talk to you later. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yo, mama. Happy birthday to you. One, two, three. Hello. Good job. Yay! 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 <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Do I have some updates for you? Um, <laughs> yeah. Einstein's gonna come over here. Yep, he's gonna do that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move all this stuff <laughs> where I can actually talk to you <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, so Marty has actually taken Einstein on a walk so I can, I can show you things quickly <laughs> or I'll try to do it as quickly as possible. Okay, so I finished reading the oceanography of the moon today and uh, this is by Glendy. Vandera. I have to say this is probably my least favorite Once Upon a Book Club uh, book. I just, I really didn't, I didn't feel it. Most of, I'd say most of the Once Upon a Book Club books that I get are like four or five stars. They're always great. This one, I just, I just wasn't feeling it at all. It's, so we have, let me just read the back because that might be the easiest way to explain it. Uh, it says, fate brought them together. Will their past tear them apart? After the untimely deaths, uh, after the untimely deaths of her aunt and mother, young Riley Mays moves from Chicago to her cousin's Wisconsin farm. Here she found solace in caring for her extraordinary adoptive brother, exploring the surrounding wild nature and gazing at the mystical moon, a private refuge in which she hides from her most painful memories. But 10 years later, now 21, Riley feels too confined by the protective wall she's erected around herself. When a stranger enters her family's remote world, Riley senses something he's hiding, a desire to escape that, she's, that she understands well. Suffering from writer's block, best-selling novelist Von Orr has taken to the country roads when he happens upon the accommodating, if somewhat unusual, Mays family. He's soon captivated by their eccentricities and especially by Riley and her quiet tenacity. In her, he recognizes a shared need to keep heartbreaking secrets buried. As the worst moments of their lives threaten to surface, Riley and Vaughn must find the courage to confront them if they're to have any hope of a happy future. With the help of Riley's supportive family, a dash of everyday magic, and the healing power of nature, can the pair let go of the troubled past they've clung to so tightly for so long? 
Now, I have heard this referred to as magical realism. It's not at all. Uh, this is definitely just contemporary. Uh, there's, it refers to magic, but it's just like the magic of people and believing in things and, you know, fate and all of that. Uh, but not, it's not magical realism at all. And I think what, I, I wasn't vibing with this relationship that forms in here. It was just weird all around for me. Uh, but I actually haven't opened any of the gifts because I wanted to do that uh, on camera with you and I've been so busy, which is why this vlog is now a two week vlog and it's at the end. <laughs> and as you see, I have a ton of stuff to show you and I just I haven't had time. So here is my box and we're going to open up these gifts. Okay, so on page 55 it says, as my eyes adjust, I'm standing in a million stars. They're above me and imperfectly reflected in the icy, the watery ice below. So let's see what gift is on page 55. So we have this one here and something just fell out. Oh, there's something else in here. So we have this thing and it says it is a star projector. It says plug in the star projector into a USB port, cycle through the different color options using the silver side button, adjust the projection using the flexible arm. Oh, cool. That's neat. All right, hold on. Okay. So I don't know how well this is going to work because it is daylight outside, but I turned the light off in here and I have this little backup battery. Oh, that's neat. Okay. We'll shine it. Can y'all see it? Let me shine it on the floor. Maybe you'll be able to see it better. So it looks like that. Oh, did my backup battery just die? Oh, there we go. So you can, ooh, okay. So you turn it and it's almost like a kaleidoscope effect. Ooh, I like it. I don't think it does any other colors. Just different designs, but it's still fun. Okay, the next gift, uh, page 115. Okay, this says, I settled the book onto the book rest Sachi and Alec gave me for my 16th birthday. So maybe we got a book, maybe not, because it's in this box here. It doesn't feel like a book. There's no book shaped boxes in here. Oh, so we have a little book rest. It has a film on it we can take off. Uh, but it talks about the book that she's reading and it's by Von Orr. And this is, this is his book in the first page. Fun. <laughs> this is cool though. So far, the gifts are awesome. I mean, the gifts are always awesome with the, these books or these boxes. Okay, the next one is on page 195. Okay, so for this one it says, Riley hovers her flat palm beneath and I drop the rock into it. So, a rock? Okay. We got some rocks. Okay. There are two rocks. All right. Oh, okay. These are black tourmaline or tourmaline. And it says chakra root, element earth, zodiac Capricorn, one of, mo one of the most powerful stones to protect against negative energy, promotes a positive attitude, and is effective for calming an overactive mind. Has strong grounding properties, helping one feel safe, secure, and purposeful. Imparts courage and inner strength, helping one seek their truth with confidence. Okay. And then there's one more gift, and that one, oh wait. Okay, so there's one more gift in the box, but really that's not the only gift left. Uh, but the one, next one that's for the gifts in the box, we have for page 211. 
and it says I wonder why he's wearing the old key what it means to him so I'm guessing this is maybe the key he's wearing around his neck uh, so let's yep it says unlock your potential make a wish as you put on your necklace to unlock your potential and all the world's doors will open for you wear your necklace as a reminder that life is what you make of it so make it great and it is a key and then the last gift is uh actually a little qr code and uh i think it's to play this song strawberry fields forever by the beatles I don't know if it'll work through the video or not, but if you want, you can pause it and try it. But yeah, unfortunately, I didn't love the book. Uh, I'm hoping that Trinity, who was the winner of the box, uh, enjoyed the book more than me. Uh, she's still currently working on reading it. We've been buddy reading it, but I, I was like, I have to finish this today so I could do this uh, and end this vlog. <laughs> uh, I think the last thing I told you I was reading was uh, Heartstopper Volume 3 before that uh, I only got to page 53 and uh, I don't think I read any more of all the rage I came back with a lot of books from my visit to Kehlani and y'all West and all of that so I'm gonna show you really really quickly what all I got I'm not gonna go into details about all of the books I'll just tell you where they came from pretty much in the t title and our author uh, so this first giant stack of books here all came from Kehlani. They were books that uh, she was getting rid of and I got to pick through them before we went to this bookstore and she like traded them in for credit. Uh, so she, I got The Green Mile by Stephen King, Perfect Chemistry by Simone Eccles, Chain Reaction by Simone Eccles, Rules of Attraction by Simone Eccles, More Than Maybe by Aaron Hahn, in a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware, Sea Spell by Jennifer Donnelly, Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden, a graphic novel of po stories and poems, a manga called Fire in His Fingertips, a flirty fireman ravish, ravishes me with his smoldering gaze. And this is book one. <laughs> the Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. Come Find Me by Megan Miranda. Better Than Perfect by Simone Eccles. The Curious Charms of Arthur Pepper by Phaedra Patrick. Coconut Layer Cake Murder, a Hannah Swenson Mystery with Recipes by Joanne Fluke. And The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. These next three books, I can't remember if I showed you or not, but I picked them up uh, at the Chattanooga airport when I was on my way to Kehlani's house. The first one is Listen to Your Heart by Casey West, Lucky in Love by Casey West, Becoming by Michelle Obama. After I went through Kehlani's books that she was getting rid of and we went to that used bookstore, I got, or Kehlani got me with some of her credit, uh, two graphic novels. She got me a Saga Volume 1 and Saga Volume 2. So thank you so much, Kehlani. At Fierce Friday, I bought one book. I bought Cold by Mariko Tamaki. At Y'all West, I bought three books by one author. Uh, he kind of had a deal it was like i think they were like ten dollars each or you get all three for twenty five dollars and i was thinking that it was gonna be three books of this one character uh but it ended up only being two of that character and one of something else but uh <laughs> i got him signed too but the first one is felony melanie in pageant pandemonium this is by douglas j ebock and chris bock and these are based on the characters from the movie Sweet Home Alabama and it's like their teenage years and uh it's uh, it was just it screamed to me I had to get it um for one I love Sweet Home Alabama but two Felony Melanie I mean come on and he signed it to the real Felony Melanie 
and he is the person that wrote the original screenplay for the movie Sweet Home Alabama. So this is book one and then book two is Felony Melanie in the Big Smash Up. And then the other book sounds way more interesting than the cover or the title makes it seem. Uh, the cover and the title both to me are kind of lame but and, and I would not have bought it just looking at it. Uh, I wouldn't have even picked it up to read the back. Uh, but I kind of bought it by accident because I was buying like this all three and uh, reading the back it actually sounds quite interesting. It's about two seniors in high school uh, and it's 1989 and they travel back, they travel in time, their science project goes awry, they travel in time to 2021 and they are not happy with how they see themselves in the future and they try to change what happens to them. And that is called Totally Rad Wormhole. <laughs> um, like I said, the cover and the title are terrible, but the book sounds interesting. And then I also got a few arcs there. I got How Maya Got Fierce by Sona Sharapotra. Nothing More to Tell by Karen and McManus. The Stars That The Stars Did Wonder Darkling by Colin Malloy. And let's see, The Summer of Bitter and Sweet by Jen Ferguson. And We Deserve Monuments by Jas Hammonds. Uh, I also got a book from my mom. She gave it to me when I was there, but I forgot to show it. I was going to show it like, like with my birthday stuff and well, that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Uh, so for my birthday, my mom got me, uh, Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. This has been on my wish list for so long and my mom and I listened to the audiobook of this which is narrated by Matthew McConaughey and I just really really wanted a physical copy. I wanted to be able to reread it and see all the pictures that he mentions throughout and I this is I'm happy with this. Plus she found it on Facebook for like five bucks. Oh I almost forgot to show you there's a couple other things that were in the Once Upon a Book Club box. Uh, we get this little kit here like a book club kit and inside of it we have this bookmark it says even the lives of the smallest creatures can change the world it's a great quote a signed book plate a uh, print with that same quote something about this book called a life cycle and then our book club kit here we have a conversation with the author some discussion questions read along dates and on the back is a lunar calendar Okay, back to the y'all festa. So some swag I got. I got an Epic Reads tote. Oh, and it looks like this on the other side. I got this little, I guess, pin banner or whatever that says Epic Reads. Flag, whatever you want to call it. A fanny pack that says Fierce Reads. I got a little pin here that says, yes, we can. Be friends forever. Hashtag most likely. And yeah, this is from the book most likely, which I loved. And then we have this Faith Taking Flight pin by Julie Murphy. Uh, from Instant Karma, Marissa Meyer pin. Let me scoot closer now that I have room. We have these uh, pins for the different Angie Thomas books. We have The Hate You Give, On the Come Up, and Concrete Rose. Uh, a keychain that says, This is my house. And on the back it says, White Smoke. We have a super cute little cat keychain that says Hookie. Mysterious Galaxy bookmark. Be the star of your own story from Kate and Waiting by Becky Albertalli. It's a little necklace with a star on it. Uh, a little pin, uh, not pin, sticker that I plan on putting on my laptop because I thought it was super cute. And it is, it says, I'm an adult who reads YA. There you go. When we were at that used bookstore, Kaylani also got me this little sticker, which she said was perfect for me. It's a vinyl sticker and it says cats, coffee, and books. And the cat looks like Katniss. And then I got this print. I think this was uh, maybe from the Sunbearer Trials by Aiden Thomas. I can't, re I can't recall. And I bought two of the shirts. So I got this one, which looks like that. And on the back, that's that. And then I got this one, 
which looks like this. Oh dear, here comes Einstein. <laughs> and there's nothing on the back. These are super, super soft. Hello, Einstein. Okay, and then the other thing that I got from my mom for my birthday is in this package here. I wanted to keep it safe. It's so cute. The corners are protected right now, but it's uh, like this wooden picture and it's, <laughs> it's a cat reading To Kill a Mockingbird. I love it. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. She said she saw it. She's like, yep, I have to get that for her. Okay, now to get into all of these packages. There are quite a few. Uh, some of them are pre-orders. Some of them are gifts. Uh, so let's just dig right in. So there's some that came to my post office box that um, I believe these are all from one person. And her name is Nicole Bannister and she, she wrote me an email telling me that she sent me these gifts but she forgot to include any notes and uh, it came in multiple packages so let's just see what we got. Okay so the first one's in this. I don't know if they sent me the wrong book or what because um, she said she sent she sent me things off of my wish list and I pretty sure this was not on my wish list so I don't know if somebody made a mistake or if this was just something she picked out for me but it's a uh, young change makers making a difference uh, written by Stacy C Bauer and illustrated by Emanuela Namak and it is this little bitty um, kids book it says kids around the world are doing extraordinary things make a difference is filled with stories of kids who are making the world a better place by following their hearts and chasing their dreams hmm. cool thank you nicole or if it wasn't nicole whoever sent it to me and uh please let me know if that was the book that i was supposed to get <laughs> okay next is this one right here which came from discover books Oh yay. She sent me The Land of Stories, A Grim Warning. This is book three uh, of the, or A Grim Warning is book three in The Land of Stories. And this is by Chris Colfer. And I read book one and absolutely loved it. So yay, I'm excited to have more of this series. Okay, then there is this one. Okay, there are a few in this. Oh, and I know these came from Nicole because it's got her name on it. Yay, I'm excited about these. Oh, okay. So she sent me Jim and the Holograms Dimensions. Yay. So happy to have these. And then also Jim and the Holograms Infinite. So cool. I'm so excited to have these. I loved Jim and the Holograms as a kid. And uh, I got one of the graphic novels and read it and absolutely loved it. So thank you so much, Nicole, for these. I'm super, super excited for those. And then we've got another little one here. Okay, I know this one was also from Nicole because she told me this specific book was coming. And that is Noise. And it's based on a true story by Kathleen Raimundo. And this is a lot skinnier than I thought it was going to be. But it's a cute little graphic novel. Thank you. And, oh, I can't remember what this is about, but it sounded super cute. I looked it up on Goodreads. Okay, so I think she said there were eight uh, books or graphic novels or whatever coming all um, to my P.O. box. But um, the, I, I only got these five, so I'm guessing the others are still coming. Uh, so... I'll show that in another haul in the future when those arrive. But yay, thank you so much, Nicole, for these. I am very excited to check them out. Okay, uh, this next one, I don't really know what it is, if it's a book or not, because um, it's from Simon & Schuster. Maybe it's something that I won from one of their like online Y'all West giveaways. These things are so hard to tear open. Or maybe it's a Goodreads giveaway or something. Oh yeah, this was uh, one of their Y'all West giveaways. So I won Love Radio by uh, Ebony Liddell. 
This looks super cute. Okay, I'm not gonna go into, cause this, this clip is long enough. So I think that the next, or the rest of these, I think are all things pre-ordered. Excuse you. <laughs> oh my goodness, Einstein. So I think all of these are pre-orders uh, that are left, but I could be wrong because I did all my pre-orders, I thought, from Barnes & Noble, but I do have an Amazon one here. So I'm gonna open this one. Oh, Happy birthday. We both need to read this, so I could not resist. I hope you enjoy your birthday from Kehlani. Okay, there's two books in here and there's two notes, so I don't know which note goes with which. Uh, the other note says, one of my faves that I'm surprised you don't have. Happy birthday, girl. I love you. Enjoy your gift from Kehlani. Thank you, Kehlani. Okay, so what's the first one? Ooh, Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I have heard so many good things about this and I have wanted to read this. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. I wonder if this is the one that she says we both need to read. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see what the other one is. It's a hardcover. <gasps> oh! <laughs> uh, I wonder if she ordered this before or after um, we did our little uh, premiere for Seasonathon. Because during the premiere, I think it was during her premiere. Sorry, Einstein's right here. During her premiere, uh, she actually mentioned this book as like an example for one of her prompts. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really want that. And it's been, you know, it's on my wish list. And so I'm wondering if she ordered this before or after I said that, because I'm very excited. And that is Extraordinary by V.E. Schwab, a villain story. This is a graphic novel uh, in the like, vicious and vengeful series very very cool i'm super excited for this oh yay thank you i'll have to find out which note goes in which so i can put the right notes in the right book yay okay now for the ones that came from barnes and noble so these should all be pre-orders Okay, the first one I have here is Hollow Fires by Samira Ahmed, and she is the author of Interment. He is laying up against my back. <laughs> uh, but I, I loved, loved Interment, and so I, this was one of them that I had to pre-order. Honestly, I don't even know anything about it, except that it's Samira Ahmed. <laughs> and yeah, okay, next book. Oh, this one's really light. This, I'm gonna guess that this is Jay's Gay Agenda. Aha, I was right. I guessed that because I knew it was a paperback and um, it was light. That looks like this. It's by Jason June. And I know that uh, Sterling, my friend Sterling, he's read this and loved it. I can't remember if Clint read it or not, but I heard really good things about it, so I pre-ordered it. He had an arc of it or something like that. The next book is I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuiston. Oh, Einstein. Ooh, that's pretty. And I think this is Female Female. Okay, and then the last one that I have here is Mirrors and Ashes by Kat Bowser. And this is Fairy Stories Renaissance series. And this is a uh, Snow White retelling, which I'm very excited for. Love me a good retelling. Oh my goodness, that's everything. That's a lot. <laughs> I also had some more of a Hungry Root and Thrive Market delivered during this, like over this weekend. But I didn't, I didn't end up showing those because, well, for one, I wanted to go ahead and get them unpacked and eat them. <laughs> but um, also, I knew that things were piling up, and I was going to have a lot to catch up on. So, yeah. So I think that the first book that I completed this month was. Uh, one year after 
And then I think the only other book that I've completed this month was The Oceanography of the Moon. I am working on my reread of The Queen of Air and Darkness and I'm close to the end but I still probably have like a hundred and something pages left of that. It's like an almost 900 page book. So yeah. <laughs> I I don't know maybe I'm in a bit of a reading slump but I, or I've just been too busy. <laughs> too busy and, and doing other things and birthdays and all of that good stuff but um I'm like I need to get back into reading and uh I'm being trampled all over also tomorrow Einstein leaves to go yeah I'm like he's looking at me he leaves to go to doggy boot camp so it's gonna be a little while that we won't see him six weeks but also during that time we're going on our trip uh to our we're flying to Canada and going on an Alaskan cruise and we'll be gone for two weeks. So his two, that two weeks will fall in the middle of his training. And Bella is actually going to go and do boarding with him during those two weeks. So he'll have her for part of the time. All right. This vlog is probably going to be ridiculously long. Sorry, <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye.